Hi folks, here's a five string cooker tin banjo I've just finished making. The next piece of scrap uh, tulip wood or yellow poplar I think it's called. It's got this rather strange sort of greeny yellow tinge to it. The uh, fretboard's another piece of scrap, just maple in this occasion. Um, I shelled out on a relatively expensive fifth string peg, but the, the other four are just cheap um, guitar, type, guitar type tuners. The string anchors works very well, very primitive, but it works really well. Just five screws and the uh, the loops go around those. I actually bought a cheap um, cheap bridge, but I'm going to make another one when I've got time. I'll show you what it's like inside. Take back off. Okay, I'll take this out. Okay, well, what I do usually is to cut a, a sort of a recess underneath the, uh, the through neck so that uh, it, it's not in contact with the, the front of the, uh, the instrument all the way. I think it lets it vibrate a bit better. But to tension it, so that it's not all buzzy and nasty, I made this section which fits in there. And the back, when it goes on, fastens on with screws at um, six points around here. And it presses quite hard against that, uh, that sort of central section and it tensions the back and the front so it's uh, Makes it sound a little bit better, I think. Okay, um, I'm absolutely useless at playing these things, but uh, I'll have a go in a minute or two. Okay, then, here we go. I've no finger picks, uh, no fingernails to speak of. Uh, I can't do claw hammer, so bare fingers it's going to have to be, I'm afraid. Thank you. 